Howdy folks, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. We had another frost this morning, that's been three nights in a row. Tonight's gonna be in the high 30s, maybe not get a frost, but we'll see what happens. And then after that, I see the temperatures starting to go up and up and up. Even next weekend, 70s and 50s at night. So that's telling me I could start probably planting stuff outside. I have a few tomatoes that are gonna go out. I have some squash that's gonna go out. I planted some potatoes yesterday. Let's put this around. My gagutsa vine is gonna go on the trellis. The garlic's doing okay. I gotta get in there and weed it a little bit. I was out here flipping the compost pile around and uh, taking a look at my peach tree because like I said, we've been getting a lot of frost. This variety right here is called Contender. It is good for zone four. I've had sown five peach trees before, but they didn't make it. This is the only one I got left. You know, around here they do say, oh, it's zone five, but all it takes is one time, you know, 25 below zero, and that's the end of your tree. So this one seems to be handling the cold no problem. I've had this tree probably here maybe uh, 10, 12 years. There has been a couple of springs that I did not get any peaches due to the frost. But we'll see what happens. It looks, to me, it looks like it's pretty good. I mean, it can take a light frost. So we'll see what happens with that. Concord grapes starting to bud out. Well, let's go take a look in a hoop house. Stuff in a hoof house is doing pretty good because of the difference in the heat. It does still get cool in here at night. I haven't, I didn't have it on last night and it still stayed about 38 degrees in here. But most of the stuff I have in here does very well in the cool weather. You see how nice those lettuce leaves look. No insect damage. The cabbage, kale, Benny Han Mazuna, baby bok choys. This is a Chinese kale. It actually looks like a, it's, it's a brassica, but it almost looks similar to a broccoli. I've never grown this before. First time ever trying it. And you got more baby bok choy starting to put on the, the leaves. So pretty soon they say these bok choy is 30 days. We'll see. Got some radishes growing in here, about 50 radishes. I'm gonna be starting another one. We're gonna keep it going. Well, you can see like the cucumbers are oh, they growing but very slow next week when it starts kicking in the 50 degree nights you're probably going to see those grow a little more quicker trout spotted trout lettuce is doing good some more climbing beans they ain't going to grow too fast till it starts getting warmer i got some chinese spinach this is a heat tolerant green you can see it's not doing much but it germinated so it's it's growing more kale, sugar snap peas in the background, lettuce is loving it. All these cool weather greens are loving it. Kale, more kale, some onions, different kinds of lettuce. We've got some tatsoid, cold tolerant right there. Swiss chard, little gem lettuce. And up here I got some more seeds I started. You got a, an orange swiss chard in the background we got a little bit of collards kilrabe some more tomatoes eggplant that's some long skinny ones chinese variety and got more baby bok choy escarole if these are a little small yet i'll be transplanting them to see the tomatoes do not like it <laughs> we need the heat but the greens in the tubs are doing good we've already been cutting stuff out of here the mizuna we've been cutting a little bit you got some more of them Chinese greens there. They got uh, in the background is Dino kale, arugula. So that's a type of a mustard. More cucumbers, slow to get going due to the heat. Zucchinis, some other little baby bok choy I stuck in there. I'll be pulling those out before these get to any size. Bush beans, Blue Lake, escarole in the background. Some more bok choy. We'll be cutting these leaves off soon, throwing them in a salad. We got some butter crunch lettuce. Those are just going to get a haircut as they get a little taller. More zucchinis. Some more Swiss chard. We've got a couple of tomatoes. These are sweet one million. 
they're pretty good variety you grew them a couple of years in a row now some carrots are starting to pop up starting to make their second leaf we got some beets in the middle some more uh chinese kale the basil as you can see does not like the cold the tomato this tomato is actually growing pretty quick every week i keep looking at it, it's getting bigger and bigger and i don't think there's any no not tomatoes yet but i keep coming out here and giving it a little shake won't be long we got some more spotted uh, lettuce some more swiss chard this is a chinese pink celery first time trying this down here we got some sweet 100s cherry tomato always grow those they always do really good and these are my candy rosters that are going to be going outside probably next weekend they got a nice root development on them they already got roots coming out of the bottom of the pot some more lettuce butter crunch Spar uh, asparagus brussels sprouts some cabbage these are my my peppers sweet bananas i got red hot cherries some chili uh jalapenos i got a serrano golden bells sweet bananas more brussels sprouts in the background we got some more dino kale that i started different stages those are my three gagootsas that are going to go outside a couple of paste tomatoes are going to go outside uh i got another sweet 100 that's going to go outside we got cabbages and pots all over the place you can see some eggplants in the back some more spotted trout lettuce some red mylar spinach doesn't like the cold we've got some more greens up here chinese green and i got some other flowers and i'm starting from sea well perennial for robin i got some echinacea so you got some more sunflowers i got a flat of collards down here i do have some other collards that are about a month ahead of those so try them in different stages try to keep them going if i might plant some outside i don't know here's some bok choys we bought a bok choy in the supermarket cut it off kept the end she's starting to make roots already so maybe we'll get a little bit more out of that there's some sunflowers in the background but stuff is moving along i mean it's growing even with this cold weather, this hoop house does wonders. You're definitely going to get an earlier start, and you're definitely going to go further into the season. You're going to see throughout the year how much stuff I'm going to grow just in this small hoop house. Abundance. Abundance. All right, YouTube. Let me get to work. i got a couple things i got to do outside, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.